morning. This is Wednesday in Holy Week. My name is Peggy Hodgkins. I'm the rector here at Trinity Church in Southport, Connecticut. Our service for morning prayer today uh, remembers two people in Hawaii who fought against leprosy. And we remember today Father Damien and Sister Marianne, religious. Father Damien was born Joseph de Booster in 1840 in Belgium, the son of a farmer. When he was 18 years old, he joined the congregation of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary. He made his first vows in 1859 and took the name Damien after the ancient physician and martyr. When his older brother became ill and was unable to join the mission endeavor in Hawaii, Damien volunteered to take his place. As Father Damien began his ministry in Hawaii, leprosy was spreading rapidly throughout the islands. In 1863, King Kamehameha V ordered those with leprosy to be sent to Kaulai Papa, an isolated peninsula on the northern coast of Molokai. There, on the side of the peninsula known as Kalawao, those afflicted by the disease were left with no aid. Damien was among the first priests to arrive in Kalawao, and he remained there for the rest of his life, building houses, an orphanage, a church, and a hospital. He ate with those he served, worshipped with them, and invited them into his home. He eventually contracted leprosy, later known as Hansen's disease, and he died in 1889. Like Father Damien, Mary Ann Cope, aspired to the religious vocation at an early age. She entered the Sisters of St. Francis in Syracuse, New York in 1862, and then in 1870, she began work as a nurse administrator at St. Joseph's Hospital in Syracuse, where she was criticized for accepting alcoholics and other undesirable patients. In 1883, she received a letter from a priest in Hawaii asking for help managing the hospitals and ministry to leprosy patients. She arrived in Honolulu in 1883 and immediately took over supervision of the Ka'akapo Branch Hospital, which served as a receiving center for leprosy patients from all over the islands. She also opened a care center for the healthy children of leprosy victims. In 1884, she met Father Damien and in 1886, she alone ministered to him when his illness made him unwelcome among church and government leaders. She continued her work with hospitals and sufferers of Hansen's disease until her death in 1918. And so today we remember Damien and Marianne who suffered and, and assisted those with leprosy. Our service for morning prayer begins in your prayer book, the Book of Common Prayer, on page 80. And you can follow along in your own Book of Common Prayer, or if you'd like to follow along online, bcponline.org, page 80. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Alleluia! The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. The Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Alleluia! Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. 
Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has also come the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. The Psalms appointed for today are Psalms 97 and 99, found in your prayer book. Page 726, Psalm 97. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of the isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. A fire goes before him and burns up his enemies on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth sees it and is afraid. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all who worship carved images and delight in false gods. Bow down before him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad, and the cities of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you are the Lord, most high above all the earth, you are exalted far above the gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up for the righteous and joyful gladness for those who are true-hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. The Lord is King. Let the people tremble. He is enthroned upon the cherubim. Let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion. He is high above the peoples. Let them confess his name, which is great and awesome. He is the Holy One. O mighty King, lover of justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and fall down before his footstool. He is the Holy One. Moses and Aaron among his priests and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them out of the pillar of cloud they kept his testimonies and the decree that he gave them. O Lord our God, you answered them indeed. You were a God who forgave them, yet punished them for their evil deeds. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and worship him upon his holy hill, for the Lord our God is the Holy One. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading this morning is from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 28, verses 1 to 16. After the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning, and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. 
But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell the disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Lo, I have told you. So the women departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Hail! And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, behold, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had taken place. And when they had assembled with the elders and taken counsel, they gave a sum of money to the soldiers and said, Tell people, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we were asleep. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So the guards took the money and did as they were directed. And this story has been spread to this day. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As we think about the story of the resurrection and Jesus' words to Mary Magdalene and the other Mary uh, when they beheld him and they fell down and clutched his feet, they couldn't believe their eyes that here he was in the living flesh. The first words from Jesus are, do not be afraid, because of course they were terrified, but they were also joyful. I love that Matthew adds in the word joyful, whereas the other Gospels do not. They were joyful to know that he is risen. As I think about uh, lack of fear and being faithful, remembering Damien and Marianne in our, our calendar of saints today, they were not afraid to go and live among the lepers on the far peninsula in Hawaii, where the island of Molokai, where all the, the lepers had been Ex excluded from the wider community and, and left in this compound to fend for themselves. But Damien and Marianne were not afraid. They saw them as people. They had compassion for them. Damien, even after he contracted the Hansen's disease or leprosy, still was, was fearless, as was Marianne, um, having just compassion and care for his fellow beings. And so we remember them today as people who believed in the resurrection and believed that all people should be loved and cared for. We think of our own health workers this week uh, who are struggling now in the fifth week of, of sort of a sheltering in place, yet these folks go out every day uh, fearless to serve those who are sick with the virus. And we commend them for their faithfulness to, and, and for their compassion to those who are in need. The thing about the resurrection is that it gives us um, a joy, it increases our faith, and it gives us a fearlessness uh, to do what God would have us do. So today we celebrate in this Wednesday and Easter week the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Our canticle this morning is the Song of Moses on page 85. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God, and I will praise him the God of my people, and I will exalt him. 
The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect for Wednesday in Easter Week. O God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread, Open the eyes of our faith, that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A Collect for Grace, page 100. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our prayers which we offer before you for all members of your Holy Church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now I'd like to invite your intercessions and thanksgivings. We pray for the sick, for those who suffer from any illness or adversity, grief or sorrow. We pray for all who suffer from the coronavirus. We pray for all who care for them. 
at home or in the hospital, at nursing homes or continuing care facilities. We pray that you would bless them and give them your healing in mind, body, and spirit. We pray for Wally, for Paul Suchland, for Deb Valentine, for Joy, for Peter Swan, for Adam DeVenere, for Lisa Fabrini, Drew Lipner, Kathy, for Steve Madison, Jimmy Stanek, John, Claudia, Sean Sullivan, Lucy, Janet, and Tom. And we pray for those who died last week, Suzanne Allen France and Dorothy. Lord, we pray that you would be a strong tower to all who put their trust in you, to whom all things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth bow and obey. Be now and evermore our defense. And make us know and feel that the only name under heaven given for help and salvation is the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we'll take a moment of silence for two minutes with the ringing of a bell. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen.
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance unto you and give you peace in this Easter week and forevermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.